Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to Tour de France 2023. This is episode number four. Before we start anything today, uh, my condolences to Gino Mater's family, to Bahrain Victorious, to the Peloton as a whole. The loss of a cyclist in the sport is always, always going to be one of those toughest experiences that anyone could ever go through. Tragic. Absolutely tragic, but let's play the game. 33 seconds ahead of the peloton as we are starting stage number four in our final race of our opening season, which of course there's only three that we qualify for. Up to four riders now, two more off the front of the peloton, but only just now three off the peloton, but again, just ahead and the peloton is just 28 seconds behind. They're not too happy with the uh, makeup of the group at the moment. This could be coming back together. It's back together, so we attack immediately again. I've been waiting for that. We're in that perfect position right near the front. And apparently, nine of us have attacked. The same nine that were just off the front a second ago. This time out to 32 seconds. We'll see if it's got a better chance of holding this time. He doesn't intend to let you go. There are too many of you. Attack if you want a chance to get away. The first king of the mountain summit is classified as a category three. There will be two points and one point to be scored at the top. It's looking good. You've got more than a minute's lead on the peloton. We're on the first climb. The steepest section is right here at the beginning, but I have no red bar whatsoever as we have never let up. The peloton, not happy. Not happy at all. Uh, First rider from our group has actually been dropped now in Milano. Uh, so we're down to eight. And the peloton is slowly drifting further back as we keep pushing hard. But through that pushing hard, I don't see how I'm going to be uh, too likely to score a point up here. First and second are the ones that uh, are going to claim something. Now following Walshide. He's just fallen. Skone has fallen back in the uh, Walshide. Is he attacking? It's final 100 meters. He might be. I don't have the red bar to attack long. We'll have to save it for late. Really just going to have to follow. I'm completely out of red bar. And no. Lucky to not be dropped is what we have for this first one. The The good thing, though, is the Pel no, Peloton really isn't that much further back now. They're a minute nine behind. They're still not happy with our group. Milano, only 18 seconds back, but I have a feeling he's not coming back to the group. I'm just five points out of the jersey, but the jersey wearer is here. Martinez wears the jersey, far better climber. I don't think we're going to be getting the KOM or intermediate sprints for that. We will get the most, uh, most combative. We will get that prize which will be worth 10 points last two stages here uh, we'll see how long we can hold on ahead of the peloton if they ease off maybe at some point i'll have a chance in fact we have eased off a bit i have some red bar now he's a good oh my they're pushing harder than what i can manage to keep up with <laughs> realistically they are trying to attack me right now is what it looks like Apparently, I'm not putting in work. I'm telling myself to put in work, but I just don't have the strength to keep up with these guys as I make my way towards the front end of the group. We'll follow Martinez for now. There's riders minutes off the back of the peloton. That's how difficult it's been for this day. Still only a minute 11 ahead of the peloton. They chase hard. They ride hard. I'll be blowing up rather early in this one at this rate. Oh man, I'm getting left behind here. You've got one minute thirty over the peloton. It turned out to be a good move. Four hundred meters. Yeah, again we're not gonna completely out of red bar here. Here's the positions over the last climb. 
Malaba and Ferran take the points. At least it was not Martinez. Lano and Walshide have also been dropped, so there's now only six ahead of me. We'll arrow tuck as we try to uh, regain contact with those guys. Pushing hard through this area to try to make up some ground. I still haven't caught up to them. They're uh, relentless. Arrow tuck. He's a very good climber, with some but he momentum. To ride at a steady pace. Acceleration is not really his forte. Just like his skills going downhill, which are pretty poor. I thought they were talking about me. <laughs> we made it back into the group. Peloton minute and a half behind. For this, it's been. Biggest climb of the day. 6K in length. 5.5%. Peloton, again, closing us down. Never letting us actually get out to a two minute or greater margin. Never letting it remain comfortable. Just the seven of us now as those two guys were reeled in by the Peloton. Multiple riders many, many minutes off the back because of how hard this push has been. We push on the early stage of the climb and it's opening it back up again just over a minute now. Just under 5K now on the climb. The steepest portion is just about behind us, but I'm also nearly out of energy just trying to follow on. I'm feeling I am going to bonk out well before the top of this climb. Red bar's gone, blue bar's low. Malaba, looks like he's leaving most of us behind. Sepulveda, keep it up with him. Calling Cepeda now, and we blow up. We've put a minute into the peloton in 3K, and they got me to blow up in 3k and i've been caught by the peloton and that's going to be my day done no points for this one five three two one martinez just one point for him means next stage maybe just maybe i can go out there and earn some points and get back in this thing but uh this stage nothing doing let's get on to the last stage hello cycling fans everywhere this final stage promises to be restless with its short format over irregular terrain, riders who are still vying for the general pacification have got an ideal setting to go on to the attack. First proper mountain stage that I've been a part of, and I'm only six points out of that KOM lead. Malama only picked up, or Martinez, that is, only picked up a single point. Malama, others, they came out of nowhere to get, you know, 14, 12 points. But I'm still sitting on 10, and Martinez is still leading with 16. So I do have a chance. Sepulveda, though, getting in the break is a bad sign. Mollard, Martinez getting in the break. Ferran getting in the break. Those guys are going to take points away from me. All I can really hope to do today is collect, collect credit, collect XP for being in the break. That's it. Uh, we are 30 seconds ahead of the peloton so far. Field splitting, and I find myself no red bar, barely enough energy to get over this first climb. I could see myself in trouble on the first climb of the day on our first mountain stage. Poles has 11 riders with him. Micah has two. Shockman has three. Gavazzi, and then I'm third wheel at the head of the peloton. We're not far from everything. Hermans, is that Shockman right there, number 22? Yes, it is. I got dropped for just a second. Oh, there's the top. I was so close. So close. I am nearly a minute ahead of the peloton. I've got a chance here to catch up, but this is going to be tough. Uh, that's going to make it easier right there. Follow Gavazzi. Maybe he and I can get up there. Uh, we are a minute ahead of the peloton. The next king of the mountain summit is and we are getting some recovery. Oh, that, that was not much of a descent. To right into a category three. Climber, I'm going to gel up this early. <laughs> we're only 50 seconds ahead of the peloton now, and we're another 10 seconds further behind the front guys, which is down to nine poles among the two that were dropped. The namesake for the group doesn't survive. A middle group coming together. We are the fourth breakaway group as of right now 
Ah, I just blew up. If we have any chance of actually being in the break today, we have got to catch up and soon. It's like I can catch Gavetsi. Peloton's about to catch me, though. We've lost another minute. Time to ease off Mollard. Last trap. Really struggling to keep up. I'm about to blow up here. Just over the top of this climb is where we have the feed zone. But never got recovery in this peloton. There was almost no descent. Just slight downhills, but the pace of the peloton was such with 15 riders off the front that they kept pushing. You can see there's a lot of riders that have been dropped and I'm about to be the latest. 1K to the summit down to the last ounce of energy. I was going as fast as I could to try to get to the top, still in reach, but that's clearly not going to happen. Uh, we've got a long ways to go yet before we are going to be competitive, but a five-stage race like this one is bound to have helped me level up quite a bit. Over the top, feed zone coming. Still going to control for now. We've got uh, a short cat three, the next and then two big climbs to get category. through still. The first two Not much of a downhill. Are you kidding me? How are you supposed to recover? Point is, you're not. You're supposed to just be capable of handling the climb. On the chase of the breakaway. Already 5k to the next summit. We're never quite getting enough descent here. I'm going to go ahead and arrow tuck for a moment. Back to control. But yeah, that did not provide much uh, recovery at all. Mount Ravard. 16.8k, 5.5%. And this isn't even the hard climb. The head of the race has one and a half minutes lead on the yellow jersey. The yellow jersey group is one minute from the head of the race. There will be ten points to be earned for the mountain standings at the summit of Mont Revar. The front of the race is two kilometers from the summit. Padoon takes the top on this one. A lot of riders got left behind from our group. I'm one of those better climbers. I can handle the climb than the other guys that are getting dropped as bad as I am, but we just don't have any stamina or anything. I don't know if it's a bluff, but the breakaway looks to be increasing the pace at the front of the race. Already 19 minutes down. The favorites will have to be well placed at the foot in the valley right for quite a while. We're just now passing, passing the sprint point before we begin the final climb. That group behind is caught back up. Some of them, anyway. The head of the race has one and a half minutes lead on the yellow jersey. And final climb. Catch and leave behind another group. Big group there. I work group 32. <laughs> That's a teammate. I found a teammate. Stage is done, by the way. Oh, I'll blow up right at the top. Near the top. 9% gradient here. The Samna. Samnas. 13.9k, 7.7% gradient here. This is all's cat. This is beyond category. Got some teammates. Oliveira, Desjardins, Nilens, 26, 27, 28 on the stage. Is that the top? That's the top. Fortunato, he's got a little something left. My little something was just to get to the front of that group, but I made a lot of progress positionally from where I was. As early as I was dropped, 
it's amazing that I recovered enough to finish in 66th on the stage. A lot of that was pure climbing, definitely better for us. But that first half of the stage where it's short, punchy, flat, fast paced, we were beat handily. When it was just pure climbing, we were a lot quicker than some others. Johannesson has won the overall by two seconds, taking the jersey away from Champesson, moving up six spots. Champesson was second. Mezgech was the leader and finishes 10th, dropping nine places. Did not finish well on this one. Desjardins finishing 16th was the our highest finisher. KOM, Johannesson picked up enough points that he won the overall 22 KOM. Uh, my 10 points. I end up finishing 10th. Points overall, points classification, I was 5th. Young Ryder, Johannesson taking the win. And as a team, we finished 5th. But that combativity, that was mine, comfortably. 200k ahead of anybody else. Picked up 10 points for that, that was all. Our entire rest of the team. Neyland's got 8 points in that first race, and that's all that we managed. Pagatcher. Uh, season's not 100% done. It is for us, but he's comfortably ahead. Jumbo Visma is comfortably ahead. We are 24th in the team classification ahead of two teams, and it looks like that's not going to change. What is going to change is I managed to level up a, quite a bit more. Flat, gained one point. Now a 58. Sprint, we gained one point. Acceleration, we picked up two points today. Hill gained one point. Medium Mountain, we gained two points. And that's that's going to be an important one. We, we haven't done anything. That was our first Medium Mountain stage and our first Mountain stage. So both of those just now coming along. We picked up two points in Mountain. That's all going to start to make a difference, but not quite yet. <laughs> it's going to take a bit more. Time trial, uh, we got one point there. Prologue, we got one point. Stamina, that's a big one three points three points is a big help for that resistance no points today though it remains at 71 cobblestone that was our first hint of cobble in this race we picked up three points there from nothing agility remains at an a plus recovery picks up a little bit of a bonus now a c presumably from a c minus i think it was maybe a d plus now a c overall we gained 10 points and that brings us up to a 69.7 by the way has won the world championships Jared de como which i'm sure is just il lombardia has been won by pagacher and was the final race of this season that's one season in the books team finished 24th in the rankings i finished 94th in the individual rankings which was top of the team pagacher was the number one rider overall this season as a reward for finishing 24th, we receive an extra 60,000 credits towards our budget. I can recruit riders with a maximum overall rating of 75. Some riders are less demanding, so it is possible that you could hire riders of a higher level. So each of our riders have a salary. We only have six slots that are open. I think to get to a seventh slot, I'm guessing, is going to cost something. A situation that we'll have to unlock based on success. Uh, but Hauser was... Our most expensive guy is 60k and not good so we're gonna free his spot up to uh, purchasing someone Shaw we, we've got 120k now because that 60k goes back in and we can spend that salary on somebody else I'd like to find a somebody who's maybe got a combination of like hills and medium mountains Goros Schartner would be a good one he's got a 74 mountain to go with it too Everybody 75 above is locked. Yeah, we're going to sign Gross Schartner. We have another 40k left. Maybe Oliveira. Good one to uh, replace. I'm going to go ahead and add Max Cantor as our sprinter. And that uses up most of the budget that we had for now. And just 20k remaining. Two rider upgrades with the team. Maybe, just maybe, they can score. Gross Schartner and Cantor can score a few points for us, which will help us, you know, place that slightly bit higher, a little more next season. For now, we are having to kind of inch our way along. At the moment, I have four punchers and two sprinters. 
And that, of course, is going to take us right into season number two. I'm a better writer than I was a year ago, assuming that the objectives are still largely the same. We are going to be a breakaway writer until we start having some success, winning those KOMs, winning those intermediate sprints, winning those classifications to level up to a point to be competitive in the field, to compete at a sprint in the field. I'm not playing on the hardest difficulty, but we are playing on the second hardest difficulty. And without that extra experience, a limited rider like we have right now is just not good enough. Absolutely not good enough. But there is a time trial. We're going to be in Provence. It looks like we have a time trial, a uh, hilly stage and a mountain stage. Looking forward to that opportunity. I don't think I've done it. I haven't done a time trial yet. So looking forward to that. Uh, looks like these races are changing up because the uh, the Breach Cup also looks like it has flat stage, punchy stage, and a time trial. Looking forward to those opportunities because those are going to help us level up uh, significantly. It will be an interesting, different thing to participate in. That is going to do it for this episode, though, and our first season. It wasn't uh, an amazing one by any stretch of the imagination, but we scored some points. We made some progress and we were actually the best one on the team mostly just because we kept getting those combativity we did get one jersey i think over the season i'm the cathlon gamer like comment subscribe and i'll see you next time have a good one be safe out there and bye for now